Hello everyone, welcome to Rad System Studio, my name is Tuzik. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create a master detailed form using PHP Rad Classic. I am using Rad System version 5.1.3 which is the latest version at the moment. I will be using a project I have created already. So let's get started, before we continue, let's publish this project, and then take a look at it on the browser. This project has 5 tables, which are the users table, product, transactions, sold items and vendors tables. Master detail form makes it easy to add more than one records to their respective table with a common key that joins them together. Master detail form is of two types, which are the one-to-one -one and one-to-many master detail form. Starting with the one-to-one -one master detail form. On the database tables, select any table of choice from your project table. On the table pages, select add page. From the add page properties, find master detail form and then click on the field. A dialog box pops up. This is our working space for master detail form. Here we will do all the configuration we need to have master details form working. With this green button, we can add a set of sub form. And with these arrow buttons, we can move a set of form up or down. The red button deletes or remove a form from the space. We can add as many as we want, but I'm going to add just one set. Click on the set sub form of interest. On the right side, Click on the Relation Type field to select the type of relationship, we are going to choose the first one, which is one to one. Click on the next field, the Detail page, here we choose the subform we want to connect to the parent form. I will choose the Vendors Add form. That means we add a vendor while adding a user to our system at the same time. Next is the Referenced field. With the Referenced field, we choose the subform field we want to set the parent did to. This will create relation between the parent form and the sub form. So I'm going to set it to the UID field. This will also help us to join the users table and the vendors table using this keys. Once done, please click the OK button. Publish project and the preview on the browser to see changes. Observe the users table fields, which are username, email, phone, password, confirm password, IMG and date timestamp field. Below the form is the vendors add form. This show we can now add a vendor as we are adding a user, and also have two records connected together with the reference key. Let's click fill this form. Since we set the vendor UID field as referenced key of user's ID, we will leave it empty. That's very important. We can also set the field display type to hidden for better experience. Once done click the submit button. That's it. Let's go to the vendors list page to see if our record was add. Here is the record, that is great. Do you notice the record UID is 2? That is the user's referenced ID number. Now we can join the user's table and the vendor's table using the user's ID and the vendor's ID. Let's demonstrate one to many relationship. The configuration is basically the same. I'm going to use the transaction table and the sold items table for this demonstration. From the database tables, I'm going to choose the transactions table, since I want it to be the parent form. While sold items table will be sub or secondary forms under the parent form. On the table pages, please select the add page. On the page properties below, find the master detail form, and then click on the field. This time, I'm going to add one set sub form on the relationship type field. 
please select one to many. On the detail page field, select a second form or the subform you want to add. From my side, I want to add sold items form. Then on the referenced field, here we choose the common key or the joining field for the secondary form, which in my own case, I'm going to choose the transaction underscore ID field. Please note, the transaction underscore ID is a field in the sold items table. Once done, please click OK. Publish project and then preview on the browser. Here, we have master subform, and it is in a row layout. This layout will allow us to add many sub records at a time. This transaction underscore ID field will be handled automatically. And since we don't have to fill it, I'm going to hide it for better experience. With this plus button, we can many form row for more records. Once done, click on the submit button to submit. On the sold items, we can see all the records we added with the transaction ID of 4. Back to the transactions table, here is the record with ID of 4. Let's like the transaction view to list all the sold items with transact and ID of 4. Back to RAD System Studio. On the transaction view page, click on the design button. On the design page, I'm going to add a column for the sold items list. Then from the components bar, locate the sub pages. On the sub pages, click on the sold items and then drag and drop sold items list to the column we created. Click the sold items list. On the right side is the component properties. Disable the header and the footer. Also link the sold items to the transaction page using the transaction underscore ID field. Just like this. Once done, Publish and then preview project on the browser. Now when we view a transaction, we can see sold items with the reference transaction ID. Thank you for joining us today, most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you.